gender studies are more or less established in Russia and in some other countries of the former Soviet Union, like Ukraine, for example. But, uh, uh, you know, researchers are not activists, and activists are not researchers. But as a phenomenon in the Western world, when the two integrated, uh, it didn't work here because uh, the gap is too wide. First of all, women's movement in Russia doesn't exist, unfortunately. It existed maybe early 90s and definitely before the revolution of 1917. There was a very good women's movement and very strong one, but uh, early 90s, even when we had the Women's Party in Parliament, uh, well, it was just uh, a curiosity rather than really the belief into uh, the political um, power of this uh, kind of party. So today we don't have any Russian women's movement at all. If in the 90s it was pretty much a free-for-all, um, it was possible to go and do whatever and nobody was really watching. That's changed hugely now and for that reason I think it's all the more important. So notwithstanding and, and being mindful of what went wrong before, one must always be mindful of that, um, I think it's incredibly important to, to keep it up and to maintain relationships with individual scholars, activists, um, to assist in any way with collaborative projects. I'm concerned that Putin's masculinity reclamation project is going to erase some of the space for feminism and it's happening just as the West has pulled out of Russia. We have, especially Americans, have a lot more um, need to spend money in the Middle East, um, at least in our notion of, of what the U.S. interests are. And, and so if we leave these Russian women by themselves with no funding in this environment, um, I think that it could be really bad. And what I'm seeing is young specialists working together with various Russian, especially Russian women, right, um, very freely interacting with them, publishing together with them. And therefore, I am fairly optimistic about the future of Russian-American interaction and exchange as far as gender and feminism is concerned. Am I optimistic about feminism in Russia? As far as the entire country is concerned, no. I see tendencies, and I just want to wait when the young women of my daughter's generation will understand clearly that uh, the situation is too bad for them uh, concerning the opposite sex. Too, uh, it's too hard to resolve it. At that point, the young women uh, like, uh, for example, Mariana Muraviova and somebody else will give them some knowledge. Nothing would happen in this society unless women are participating in um, uh, politics and unless women are sharing the power because uh, right now women don't share anything. Women are a discriminated minority, although in numbers we are majority, actually 53%. But unless women themselves understand that this society uh, is discriminative in nature and that we live in a patriarchy and this patriarchy is strengthening and uh, if we want safety, if we want democracy, if we want civil society, that will happen only when women actually understand that they are a part of the process.